Hello, and uh, welcome to another video from Master Friends Outdoors. It's been mighty hot lately, about over a hundred is averaging every day. But let's do a video that reminds us of cooler weather. Uh, I'm doing this video for beginners. Get started in coon trapping. Um, when I'm talking to people who are interested in getting into trapping, I encourage them to get started trapping the easier things to catch, such as the cones, skunks, possums, even fo gray fox. You know, gray fox isn't that hard to catch. But uh, you know, if you jump right into catching, catching, trying to uh, trap coyotes, that can be get very discouraging because they're hard to catch, especially as a beginner. It took me about three months to catch my first kayak, and that was trying. That was constant keeping at it. I caught one. I spent the entire season trying to catch a kayak, and caught one at the very end of the season. So, uh, you know, that can get very discouraging. You, you lose interest and stuff. But to get started trapping the easier things, you get a taste of success, you get more confidence in yourself, and then once you get good at uh, catching the, e the easier things, you, then you can start going up and trying to catch a little bit more difficult animals to catch. You gotta trap coons. Dog fruit coon traps are definitely your best uh, choice there. Um, they're not very expensive and they're super effective. Um, when, I, when I very, 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 very first started trapping, this is what I had two Duke DPs. I got about 30 coons just a Along our little creek one uh, here when I actually held water. But uh, you know, trapping coons with DPs is very cheap. First of all, you need some DPs, a light boot brand, some stakes. Now, this little stake here, it's about 15 inches long, and I never had a coon pull it up. Um, rammed it all the way down in the mud, it didn't seem to go anywhere. I recommend about 18 inch steak. Made this one out of 3 8 inch rebar. Just bent the end over. Heat it up red hot and bend it over. Or you just use this uh, straight sucker rod with a bolt on the end or something. Or if you're trapping in a lot of a brushy area, you can use cable restraints. I don't have any, but what I use is old snares. Ones that have been used before they've been kinked up and whatnot. And I'll show you how they work in just a second. I can get kind of tangled. But uh, using these cable restraints or old snares is very fast. You can just go ahead and hook, up, hook them up to your DP when you leave home and then when you're out in the field all you have to do is just uh, snag it off to a tree. Now I'll move the camera around show you how you um, do this. Now we're just going to pretend that this leg of this bench here is a tree or a stout bush or something. You're going to do take the loop of your snare Run it through the swivel like that on your of your on the end of your chain. Just run it right through there. Take the loop. We a swivel or another loop on the end of the cable restraint or snare. Just run it right through there. Snug it off there. Snug it up. And here's the um. DP swivel, here's the snare swivel, and then here's the, use the loop, we'll just run the cable around our tree, open that up a bit, run the DP through the snare loop, snug it off, that's not going anywhere. We feel bobcats doing this, I mean, it's real fast and easy, you just hook it up. Stick that in the ground about coon trail, bait it, and off you go. I mean, it's real fast, real effective. You don't need a lot of equipment. All you need is your trap, a stake, or your uh, cable restraint, and a hammer, and your bait. I mean, you can get started real uh, quick and easy doing that. Um, there's lots of places that sell 
uh, starter DP starter kits, trapping coons, um, trapping time TV. They have a website where they sell their starter kits, Minnesota trap line products, like Southern Snows and Supply. I one probably F and T. Um, my favorite DP is the Duke. Um, for, uh, tra I trap lots of coons with these. I haven't had a problem with them. They don't, they're a nice sturdy little trap. I like to spray paint mine white. Um, that really sticks out to the coon's eye. I mean, they're like a curiosity killed the cat, you know, except with coons. I mean, they're very curious. They'll check a lot of things out. That'll really catch their eye. And kind of check it out with your bait, and then bam, get caught. Another good choice is the Z-Trap. It has a push-pull trigger. DPs have a pull only. That's what I like. These push-pulls, you can get incidental catches. Um, I've heard people catching mice in these. But I'll show you what this, how this push-pull trigger system works. You can see there's the dog. And it's, you know, there's a little notch there. And then there's the little trigger system. Right there. So you just take this, squeeze it in, flip the dog over the jaws, you can call them that, and then hook. I can get this in a second. Now, can you see that? I hooked that little knob on the trigger onto the end of the dog so if it, get, if it gets pulled it slips into that little notch and the dog flies out and fires or if it gets pushed it pops off the end of the dog and fires um great little whoever did that had their mind working now if you're having these things are pretty stout especially when you uh, first get them new uh, so if you're out of home so get these setters uh bridger makes setters um the dupe setters that sometimes come with the dupe dps i was never impressed with those but they work but something like this or I believe uh seven oaks traffic supplies at www.sevenoakstrafficsupplies.com they sell setters pretty neat but uh just take your setter. I may have to get up close enough for you to see this again. Just take my setter, hook it onto that bolt there where the trigger is, and you just take the DP and just use it. Except, you gotta go put the dog through there, pop it through, then. Once you get it pushed in, it's pretty easy to hold it. There you go. Set. That's the Duke. Um, you gotta use footholds. I don't encourage using, uh, well, this is a foothold too. But I don't really encourage uh, using uh, steel traps because these things dam will often damage the coon's paws quite a bit. The DPs haven't had a bit of trouble with that, but I had a, have had a lot of damage using these steel traps. So, but if you're going to use steel traps, I would recommend the Bridger 1.5 Special. They're great traps, real thick, tough, come with a straight link chain, and I believe that's a MB French Bruce swivel on it. These have the night, night latch system on them. Has a little knot, a bump there on the dog, and you just put, push up the loose jaw. And if you can hear this, I'll get a little bit closer. If you can hear this when I push the pan down. Hear that little click? That 
pan's completely level, just where you need it. You can see the little bump there on the dog. That's, that's pretty nice there too. So, um, as for baits for coons, coons eat just about anything. We use a lot of cat food. It's, you can buy it for about a 50 pound bag, coons love it. Or there's plenty of uh, baits out there that by, made by professional bait lure makers that it works real good too. Fish oil, that's another good thing. You can be used as a trailing scent or you can put, put a little bait in there and dribble it in there. Fish, I mean, uh, coons eat a lot of fish. This stuff's cheap, you can get it for about five bucks a pint. Or it's like $22 a gallon, so you can get quite a bit for not very much money. Um, marshmallows, that's a big thing that, that you use. Some guys will stick them on top, or some guys will stick them down underneath the trigger. And when they reach in there, you know, they can feel that squishy something underneath the trigger, and they pull on it, but they got the trigger in their hand, too, and it fires. There are DP baits. It's just a little squishy thing that goes over the end of the dog. I mean, the uh, trigger inside there. And adds a scent on it. They, they can smell it. They can feel something squishy. They pull on it. What do they know they're caught? So, um, there's a lot of things you can use. Um, you can buy either like lures or paste space that you just smear on the edge there. Like, uh, Water Wildlife Control Crazy Melon. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. The DP Trapper, um, he makes a lot of good uh, products for using the DP traps. So, um, you know, there's the coral spring I showed you earlier. If I was going to use the long spring for coons, I would use either a number two or a number 11. Number 11, you probably think, whoa, that sounds like a huge trap, you know, but all it is is just a number one with two springs instead of one. These things are real easy to set. This is the vector. Just push the springs down. That's real easy. You just hold the jaws down once you get the levers compressed. And then you just Look it on there. That'd be a fine choice for coons too, but I recommend the DP above everything else. Now you can use conibears. I'd recommend 160. Um, cage traps, but cage traps, you know, heavy and bulky. And you don't want to have to carry that, or, that around with you. So, uh, I guess that kind of concludes the video. Another thing, location. Uh, Coons travel creeks around tanks, like a stock tank or something where there's a food supply or a water supply. Um, mainly the sows are running the, like the water lines, but if you catch a coon that's off in dry land someplace, that's, they're nor normally bore coons. But um, I've got coons at lots of places, tank dams, along creeks in the bottom of a dried out creek on the edge of cotton fields that kind of kind of stuff so uh, there's a lot of great books and videos out there for you to learn from um, i'll leave some links to books and dvds to learn from in the video the, in the comments below um so if you have any questions let me know i'll be glad to answer them for you um, so coon, trapping coons is fun there's not a lot of money in it but um it is profitable, not money-wise, but coons, they, that's how we got started trapping was coons getting in, into our chicken pen and killing chickens, blew that. They raid uh, uh, nests from turkeys, pheasant, quail, practically anything they can get. And they'll, they'll clean out a lot of them. We used to have about, we had tons of turkeys around here used to. And then the coons came in. Uh, and just wiped them out. One year we had a bunch of turkeys, the next we didn't because, you know, the coons get in there, they eat all the eggs. You have a zero growth rate, and then they they catch they catch a, the hen sitting on the eggs will kill her too, so that way you have a negative growth rate. And they're just destructive little critters. I'm getting to your barn, I'll keep you live on a ranch, so they'll rip open your feed sacks. Not one, all of them. I mean, they're, they're not content, they like, well, let's see what's in the next bag, you know, maybe the same thing, we'll just keep on ripping all of them up. So, uh, 
there we go. There's a coon prepping video. If you have any questions you'd like to see, leave them in the comments. Um, if you can subscribe, please do. We're trying to reach uh, 500 subscribers by the end of 2019. So please help us achieve a goal and comment if you can. If you're on Facebook, check out our Facebook page group. Actually, it's Asher Brothers Trapping America. So you'll have to answer a few questions to get in. Just make sure I don't have some anti trap trying to get in post garbage. So, um, there we go. So, what you'll need to start trapping cones, stuff I would recommend, would be a bunch of DPs, whether it's a Z trap. Dukes, or Little Rizzes, Diablos, there's so many different designs out there. I recommend these. They're good solid traps. They're good. So, uh, your DP traps, look what I'd recommend. Stakes are your cable wrench, drench, your bait, and a hammer. Just for ham hammering in stakes. That's practically all you need. It's real fast, easy, and effective. You can help your local turkey population. They protect your own chickens and feed in your barn. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks.